and today we are here to start the lecture series of mathematics 2 okay our topic is unit step function and second shift theorem unit step function is known as also heavy side function unit step function is defined as u of t minus a equal to 0 when t less than a and it is 1 if it is t greater than a that means this area is between 2 0 to a in 0 to a this function value is 0 and this area is greater than a so it is 1 this is a graph of the unit step function now find the laplace transform of unit step function laplace of u of e minus a okay so by the definition of the laplace transform laplace of f of t is 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt okay 0 to infinite e raised to minus st u of t minus a dt but as per the definition definition of the unit step function we take 0 to a e raised to minus st there is a function in the 0 to a it is 0 plus a to infinity e raised to minus st in this integral function value is 1 dt okay now next a to infinite e raised to minus st dt so integration of this e raised to minus st upon minus s a to infinite so it is 0 minus 1 upon sorry e raised to minus as upon minus s so answer is e raised to minus as upon s is a laplace transform of the unit step function Now second shift theorem. It is also depend on the unit step function statement. If Laplace of f of t equal to f of s, then Laplace of f of t minus a u of t minus a equal to e raised to minus a s f of s. First of all, we are taking as a definition of the Laplace transform. Laplace of f of t minus a u of t minus a zero to infinite. e raised to minus s t f of t minus a u of t minus a dt. But definition of the unit step function we know that a value of this function is zero when when the p value is less than a and it is value one when t greater than a. Okay, so we take this value as a zero and f of t minus a. because we are taking here u u of t minus a value we are taking one zero and one time is one so our integral is converted into a to infinite e raised to minus st f of t minus a dt now t minus a equal to we are take you uh, supposing u so t equal to a t equal to a plus u, dt equal to du, and t equal to a, u equal to zero, t equal to infinity, u equal to infinity. Convert this integral, we get zero to infinite e raised to minus s a plus u f of u du. We are taking e raised to minus a s common because it is a constant with respect to u, so we get e raised to minus a s 
zero to infinity raised to minus s u f u d u, and this is the Laplace transform definition. So we write as f of x. So answer is e raised to minus e s f of s. So this is a proof of the second shift theorem. Now find Laplace transform of e raised to minus three t u of t minus two. Okay. So this is a, there is one corollary from the second shifting theorem. Corollary say that Laplace of f of t u of t minus a we take e raised to minus a s Laplace of f of T plus A. Okay, so for this we take Laplace of e raised to minus three T u of T minus two. Okay, so we take e raised to minus two S Laplace of f of T plus two. But in that case, what is our function? Function is e raised to minus three T. So it is T plus two. E raised to minus two s and e raised to minus six is common because it is a constant. Laplace of e raised to minus three t. So answer is e raised to minus two s minus six upon s plus three because Laplace of this function is one upon s plus three. Again, from the second shift theorem, we have deduced one corollary. E Laplace of f of t u of t minus a, so we get e raised to minus a s Laplace of f of t plus a. We are comparing this example with this corollary, then we get this is your f of t, and this is your u of t minus a. So what is a? A is a two. So we take e raised to minus two s Laplace of f of t plus a f of t plus two, but here function is. E raised to minus three t, so we are replacing t times two t plus two. So it is we are taking e raised to minus two s, e raised to minus six as a constant common. Applying Laplace of from the e raised to minus three t, so it is e raised to minus two s minus six upon s plus three. Find the Laplace transform t square u of t minus two. Similarly, Laplace of f of t. U of t minus a, we are taking Laplace e raised to minus a s Laplace of f of t plus a. Okay. So here example t square u of t minus two e raised to minus two s Laplace of f of t plus two. F of t plus two, okay. E raised to minus two s. Laplace of our function is t square. So we take t plus two whole square. E raised to minus two s. Laplace of t square plus two t plus one. E raised to minus two s. Answer is two factorial. S cube two upon s square plus one by s. Answer. Okay. So this is the second shift theorem and unit step function. F